So, uh, does anyone, who wants to come on stage and uh, do the game show? <laughs> anyone? <laughs> this guy, I know, I know. Sean's in. Sean is in. Anyone else want to play against Sean? Nobody. Oh, right here. here. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. We're standing. Yeah, we are standing. We're always going to stand for the game show. I don't know. Oh, bring your beer. Yeah, you can bring your beer. Right. There you go. It's not gluten-free. It's not a gluten-free beer. God damn it. Oh wait, this is tough fast. Yeah, you can't. What are you on the registration <laughs> location program? Are you shy? Come on, here you go. You guys can share this mic. Here, stand right over there, my friend. You do. All right. Here, can you, here, just, what are we doing? Yeah, there you go, there you go, here, stand for this mic. What's your name? Sean, Sean. my name's Daryl. Sean and Daryl, give them a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Mike? Alright, Mike, you're, yes. you're a scorekeeper. I'm gonna do that. Alright, so there's a, there's a pen, Sean and Daryl. Each, each question's gonna be worth a point, and here's what you do. So, get this right in the middle, just put this right in the middle, you guys, there you go. A little mic, little mic cord. Test, test. Yeah, can we get that mic? Is this mic on? Test. Boom, sweet. So do you want my mic or no? We're okay? Yeah. Keep the mic. You gotta say a mic. A double R Y L. Yes. S H A W N. S A S E A N. Sean Connery. All right, got it. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna ask a question, and the way you buzz in is just say your name. So I ask questions, just go Daryl or Sean. Whoever buzzes in first gets to answer the question. If you get it right, you get a point. If you get it wrong, the other person has a chance to steal it, and also there's a bonus point. I'll do I'll do a real simple example. Like if I said, uh, what political party is Bernie Sanders from? Independent. So you'd say your name, you'd go, Sean, and then yeah. say, what's the question? Uh, independent. Oh, that's correct. Yeah. All right. Uh, and then I go, you a bonus, you get a bonus point, what state is he from? Vermont. There you go. So let's say you said Democrat and you got it wrong, then you'd have a chance to try you to steal, steal it. it. Okay. There you go. And we've got 10 questions, whoever, and I've got, and uh, whoever gets the, the most points at the end of it gets the, uh, the prize package. And if it's, and I got some, uh, I got some questions that are, uh, I got some uh, tiebreaker questions. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for the political vigilante game show? Yeah. I hosted over 300 episodes of the cable game show, so I have a game show voice. Mike, how are you this evening? I'm good. Thank you for having me, Graham. I'm excited for the matchup. Outstanding, Mike. Um, first of all, we want to thank our sponsors, the Jewel Box of the Rendezvous. Give them a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. My game show voice sounds a little bit like a strip club DJ. <laughs> uh, not that I've ever been to one. All right, so this question here. Uh, all right, I'm going to read this. Is this either Bible or the Koran? Remember, chime in with your name. A highway robber may be crucified. Sean. Yes. Bible. Ooh, I'm sorry. It was the Koran. I'll give you bonus point, Daryl, if you can tell me the chapter and verse from the Koran. <laughs> <laughs> Pick some numbers. Daryl says, uh, Ahmed 4311. <laughs> that is, ooh, it's 4312. So close. So close. <laughs> close. So close. Um, all right, next question. Is this state law a United, is this a law for one of the 50 United States or Sharia law? I thought you said steak law. Steak <laughs> law. <laughs> is this steak law? <laughs> you must always have a Sizzler, A1 sauce at hand. Um, all right, state law or Sharia law? If you disturb a church service, you can be you, you can be arrested by a citizen. Daryl. Yes. Daryl says state. Oh, that is correct. Oh. One point. Oh. Bonus. Wait, what state? What state for a bonus point, Daryl? <clears throat> I'm gonna say Alabama or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> some shit is correct, absolutely. You got a bonus point. Right? <laughs> no, the correct answer was Mississippi. You were very close. Wow. Yeah, you were in the right hood. It like <laughs> yeah, it's not like a Southern law for sure. That's definitely a Southern law. <laughs> so Mike, read us off the points right now. Well, at the end of round two, Sean is not yet on the board, Ooh. and Daryl has one solid point. Ooh. Tight contest here at the rendezvous, ladies and gentlemen. Tight contest. We're going to take a quick station ID for... <laughs> yeah.
This is the political vigilante on YouTube. All right, there we go, folks. Here's our next question. This is, is this a state law or Sharia law? Um, there can be no contests where the point is to chase and catch a pig, greased, oiled, or other. Daryl, yes, sir. Sharia. No. No. That is a state law. I will finish it. You may also not throw turkeys or chickens into the air with the intent to catch them. <laughs> Sean, to pick up a point, what state has this very prudent law? Can you repeat it fully? Yes. Why not? What a great stall tactic, ladies and gentlemen. Always a great stall tactic. I'm sorry, can you repeat the question? Can you please? say it in a sentence? <laughs> I almost want to give him a point for the stall tactic. It's a great it's a stall tactic. It's a good stall tactic. Sean, what state has this law? No contest where the point is to chase and catch a pig, greased, oiled, or otherwise. You may also not throw turkeys or chickens in the air with the intent to catch them. What state has this preposterous law? Sounds like a Midwest state. Am I close? <laughs> no, we're not <laughs> close. We're not going close, Fred. You gotta just pick one. I'm gonna say uh, Iowa. Minnesota. Oh. 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 I will tell you this too. No states will be repeated. So now we have used Mississippi and we've used Minnesota. Just so you know, you have 48 others to choose from. <laughs> this next question, true or false? Is this a state law, true or false? If you start performing on stage, you are committing to finishing that performance on stage. You cannot abandon mid-song. Sean. Yes, true or false? True. Yes. Oh. That's a point. Bonus point. What state? Cannot finish mid song. Nevada? Oh, what a great choice, but incorrect. <laughs> Correct answer? Montana. You are not allowed to come stop mid song. So, my I was thinking Elvis. Yeah, it was good. You would think of Performer Town. It would seem like a thing Vegas might have. So, Mike, next time you got your banjo and you're going up north to Montana, <laughs> play up. Play up. Mississippi. Montana and Minnesota. Yes, a lot of the M's knocked out. Mike, where are we at point wise? Grab the end of round five. We're all knotted up at one. Ooh! This is exciting political vigilante game show, first time ever live in front of 10,000 people, standing room only, at the rebuilt kingdom. <laughs> you got fireworks there. You got fireworks. All right, this next question. Um, Bible or Quran? A man may legally divorce his wife by pronouncing three times, You are divorced! Nevada. <laughs> <laughs> One point for Mike Schmidt. No, no. What is it? Bible or Quran? Daryl. Daryl? Quran. Ooh. That's correct, Daryl! Congratulations! Oh, for the bonus point, you're, you were so close last time. What? What chapter and verse of the Quran has this law? Uh, mm. You know you have not a fucking snowball's <laughs> chance in hell. Just throw out some numbers and hope that you get a phone a friend. <laughs> I actually wanted to call a friend and ask him a question about the Quran. Just, just because. <laughs> call him Thursday night at 1130. Hey, I got a question about the Quran, dude. Daryl, you can't smoke weed this late. We've talked about this. <laughs> I don't see your Bible Two numbers. Just oh, throw it. Oh, uh, six. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, so five, bad. three. Damn it! Oh. <laughs> so close. No, it was two, 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 nine. Oh. But that was close. <laughs> True or false? It is illegal in Washington to throw apples at a moving car with your left hand. Sean. Yes. False. That is correct. Oh. No bonus question. That one. I smell bullshit. Yeah, he smelled bullshit on there. I wanted to throw an Apple Washington question. The right hand is the law. The right hand is the law. Good. Thank you so much. She's she's she's, she's she works for the Apple Throwing Department of uh, the great state of Washington. Thank you so much for taking time off of your busy Apple Throwing legislation. <laughs> 
Next question, gentlemen. Bible or Quran? You can sell your youngest daughter into slavery. Sean. Yes. Bible. That is correct. Oh yes, you can, folks. If you've got a mouthy little daughter, sell her into slavery. <laughs> uh, bonus. Chapter and verse. Uh, <laughs> Someone's like Old Testament. Yeah, it's pretty. It's got to be pretty. It's old. definitely Old Testament. <laughs> No idea. What if he just names the guy who wrote that? Yeah. Instead of chapter and verse, give us the guy. It's not Moses. Uh... <laughs> Very confident. Is that, it by way. <laughs> I know a lot about Moses. It's not him. I know. I know all of Moses' early albums. <laughs> He's one of the good guys. Yeah. <laughs> the correct answer: Exodus twenty-one seven through eleven. Twenty-one seven through eleven. I know you guys are wrong. Convenient. No. Ready. I'll read the whole thing. When a man sells his daughter as a slave, she will not be freed at the end of six years as men are. Oh, thankfully. Uh, if she does not satisfy her owner, he must allow her to be brought back again. But he is not allowed to sell her to foreigners. <laughs> even even then, then. Even then. Even then. Even then. Even then. <laughs> even then. They were like, oh, foreigners. Yeah, the other? Can't have, oh, can't have other people buying my daughter that I sold into fucking prostitution. I'm so this is, horrible. This is the book that rules the country. Yes. It's, it's retarded. I know. It sounds like a bad bachelor party. It is a bad bachelor party. <laughs> so oh, stupid. God. All right. Mike, where are we at point wise? You know what? At the end of round eight, we've got a barn burner, folks. Oh. Sean three, Daryl two. Ooh. Ooh. Three more questions. End the game, Daryl. Daryl, you have a shot here. True or false? Is this a state law, true or false? If you are the one to confirm the existence of Sasquatch and then decide to kill Sasquatch, you are guilty of a misdemeanor and faces a fine, jail, or both. Daryl. Daryl. Daryl says false. Daryl, that is incorrect. <laughs> To steal, what state? <laughs> Washington. Mm. That's correct! Congratulations! <laughs> that law was passed in 1984. I wanted to get a really fucking whacked out law that is in the state that we're performing in. Oh. Sasquatch here is legally interchangeable with the terms Yeti, Bigfoot, and Giant Hairy Ape. <laughs> when, when was that? Was that 1984. 1984. Also the Supersonics mascot. <laughs> Supersonics what? mascot. All right. True or false. Two questions left. Now, Daryl, you can win this if you get some wins and some bonus questions. Sean, correct me if I'm wrong. Mike has four points to Daryl's two. He is leading by two points with two questions left. Oh. And two bonus questions floating around out there in the ether. <laughs> true. This is a state law, true or false. $750 fine for failing to close a fence behind you. Sean. Sean. False. That is correct. Oh. So, Daryl, to steal a point, what state has that actual law that $750 fine can be imposed on you if you fail to close a fence behind you? I thought you said correct. No. Okay. All right, my fault. I thought I heard that too. You I said false. You said it was a false. Yeah. I said incorrect. I said it's incorrect. Okay. It's I'm sorry, I said it wrong. I'm a jackass. That's all right. I, I, I was worried. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. I should have the chance to steal it. I'm, I'm like, an idiot. I'm an idiot. idiot. I, what I said is the law, the law is correct. So he was wrong. So Sean did not get a point. He okay. Was, uh, it was true. He said false. It was true. All right? All right. I, I fucked that up hard. This pad is a mess, but that's fine. <laughs> so Sean did not get a point. So that is an actual law, $750 for failing to close a fence behind you. A bonus point for Daryl if he says the correct state. Remember, all of the states that have been said thus far are Come on, gone. Daryl, <sighs> I don't know what he was saying. So, um, I guess, oh, it's not an M so far. <laughs> wait, wait, we're counting on you to lead the Progressive Vanguard, and you don't know the states. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard, I've heard Iowa, but was Iowa... Iowa said. 
incorrect. But yeah. Iowa was incorrect. It's Minnesota. The states, I'll tell you the states I'm, that we've listed thus far. Thinking, I'm thinking somewhere like Iowa. Just, is that your, somewhere like it or is that your answer? <laughs> Final answer. Final answer is <laughs> Iowa. Final answer is Wyoming, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, got it. Okay, okay. So there is one question left here. Daryl, if you get this correct and get the bonus question, you tie and send this into overtime. You still have a shot here, ladies and gentlemen. Bible or Quran? The weaving of two kinds of material wool and linen may be a rule that would prevent loss by unequal shrinkage. <laughs> Daryl? Bible? That is correct, Daryl! Chapter and verse for the tie. <laughs> you are a bunch of godless heathens in Seattle. You don't know your scriptures. Like, yeah, that's why we're a progressive show. For the tie that sends us into overtime with the bonus question. Daryl, what is the chapter and verse of this biblical law? Daryl says 3.12. <laughs> and then how then he walks. And then he walks like he he's just like he's stuck in he's stuck in like world be free. Hold it up there. <laughs> Kobe. The correct answer was Deuteronomy 2212. Give Daryl a round of applause. Thank you so much, Daryl. You will get a political vigilante sticker as a parting gift. Sean, congratulations, you're our winner. Here is your uh there is your uh, earbuds podcasting documentary and your uh, Make Gotham Great Again shirt. Give Sean and Daryl a big round of applause, everybody. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> what are you going to do, 10 minutes? Let's go, friend. You, you play the win. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Outstanding. Uh, I will sign the score sheet and give it to you. Uh, you guys... I want to thank you so much for my first ever political vigilante here in the great city of Seattle in the Sasquatch Law having state of Washington. Uh, I will literally be right back there with the coffee shirts, photos, autographs are free. Thank you guys so much. A big round of applause to my guest, Mike Schmidt, everybody. Follow him. Uh, where can people follow you online, Mike? Uh, you can be at the 40 year old boy on Twitter. Uh, you know, uh, Twitter.com slash the 40 year old boy, Facebook.com slash the 40 year old boy, Instagram and Snapchat, Mike40YOB. We will be here Saturday night. Each of us will be doing uh, 45 minute stand up sets right here at 7 o'clock. Uh, buy tickets at the door. There's still some available. Uh, that show that more people have bought tickets, though. Yeah, brownpapertickets.com. And, and those are uh, going pretty quick. So. Yep. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. My name is Graham Elwood. And remember. Let's make Gotham great again. Good night, everybody.